Welcome to the Health and Lifestyle Show. The show that will educate you on the hottest and latest trends and innovations in the health and lifestyle industry. This morning we're going to talk about how to reverse the aging process both with raw foods and ionized water. And we're here today with Bob McCauley. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You have wrote a very interesting book, Confessions of a Bodybuilder. Tell me about this book. I've read through a lot of it, but what, what prompted you to get into this? Well, first of all, uh, it's not about weightlifting. It's mm -hmm. about building your body with water and nutrients. And it's about rejuvenating the body or reversing the aging process with spirulina and chlorella, two types of algae, whole foods, they're not extracts or concentrates or anything, raw foods and ionized water. Okay. I went through a lot of this book and it makes perfect sense to me and I take a lot of the other things that you have here and I drink your water and it does work. I think the viewers, I don't want them to get confused on ionized water, what it does and doesn't do. So I want you to really get detailed for them and explain to them the benefits of the water here. Okay, well there's nothing more important for the body than water mm -hmm. by far. It's the cornerstone of health. Um, I would say probably 60 to 80 percent of the chronic disease you see out in our society is due to chronic dehydration of the body. If we just drank enough water, we'd be much more healthy, there's no doubt about it. What ionized water does, um, it sort of takes that up to the next level. Uh, you're taking normal tap water, you run it uh, through a water ionizer, it's first filtered, it has a built-in filter into it, so you're taking out all the contaminants. And then the water runs over a positive and negative electrodes and uh, it creates positive and negative ions in the water and then those waters are separated. So you end up with two different waters that are produced simultaneously. One's rather alkaline, one's rather acidic. Okay. The uh, alkaline one is the one we consume. Mm -hmm. um, that one is a, has become a very powerful antioxidant. So that's the most incredible thing about ionized water, the fact that you've taken normal tap water and transformed it into a powerful antioxidant. I mean, that's what we're trying to do with everything we put into our body, hopefully, uh, we're trying to put things into our body that retards or the, the aging process or rejuvenates ourselves. So uh, you've got a water that has uh, an abundance of oxygen in it. It is a free radical scavenger. It has an abundance of electrons, which the body is starved for. Uh, it's extremely alkaline. It helps raise your body pH. All disease lives in an acidic environment and not in an alkaline environment, so we raise up our body pH or alkalize our body. And then you've changed the size and shape of the water molecule clusters so they're half the size of normal and they're very penetrating. So it gets in there, it penetrates your tissue very well, it hydrates it extremely well, and it pushes out all the stuff in your tissue that doesn't belong there, which we call toxins. Mm -hmm. So it is extremely detoxifying. Now, when we talk about ionized water and the benefits, and I know that people can come here to the watershed and get their water, and it's very inexpensive. It's mm -hmm. like it's a dollar a gallon. That's right. <laughs> Or, I mean, they can use it here, or they can actually purchase a unit for their home. Right. Now, how does that work? You help them through that and show them how the unit is set up? Yeah, I mean, it's very easy. Uh, the typical home, um, having done it many, many times, I can usually install it in less than two minutes. This is basically removing the aerator from your faucet, putting on the faucet diverter that comes with the unit. You use your sink like normal, then you attach a hose to the side of the diverter, and then turn a little lever and divert the water into the water ionizer as you need it. Okay. Now, we talked about the water that you consume, but the other water that's more acidic, you right. explained to me how great it is to mm. wash with and brush your teeth with. Right. Well, first of all, it kills, con it kills bacteria on contact. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it has an incredible uh, skin conditioner. It, uh, you use it on your face, your hair, your eyes. Uh, it just feels fantastic. It actually tightens the skin and helps remove wrinkles. Um, I thought that was the most amazing thing when you told me that I've got gallons of this stuff in my bathroom now, so when I get out of the shower, mm. I use it, you right. know, almost like a toner, and I wash my face yeah. with it because you told me it removed wrinkles. Well, <laughs> you won't get that dry, cracked feeling, no. you know, that tightening, especially in the winter that we get, mm -hmm. uh, you know. And uh, it, it's just an incredible conditioner. Also, uh, it makes plants grow like crazy. It's a phenomenal. Cut flowers will last, you, you know, three or four times longer than normal. So it has tremendous benefits. Uh, I brush my teeth with it every single day. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can gargle with it. You just don't want to swallow it because it's exact opposite 
of uh, the alkaline water that we want to drink. So as mm -hmm. you, when, you, when you make ionized water, you're kind of creating a yin and yang, and, and that's why you got that little thing on the front of my book there. You've talked so much in your book about the benefits of water mm -hmm. and how literally ionized water here at the watershed can detoxify us, clean us all out, and make us healthier. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to raw foods. Okay. When we talk about raw foods, I think people think of actually a food, right. you know, that they're going to chop up and eat, not so. Talk to me a little bit about why. Why would we not want to cook our food and why would we want to eat more raw foods? Well, first of all, the main thing is, is because when you cook a food, you raise the temperature up over 110 degrees and you kill all the enzymes in the food. Mm -hmm. Everything we do is enzymic reactions. You think, you blink, you talk, you walk. Anything you do is enzymes and, and a complicated sequ sequence of enzymic reactions. And yet what do we do? We constantly deplete our bodies of enzymes by putting foods in our bodies that are dead. Mm -hmm. So you've killed the enzymes and then you have denatured or changed the organic chemical substances. The thing you got to remember, Linda, is that um, heat is a chemical reagent. So it is going to change the food. It is going to change the chemical stru structure of the food. So you're basically chemically scrambling that food. Mm -hmm. The body no longer recognizes it. And there's been studies done, uh, you know, back in, uh, in the 1930s in, in Switzerland. There were some very famous studies done about the effects of eating cooked foods mm -hmm. um, and as opposed to raw foods. Mm -hmm. And basically when you eat cooked foods, your body has an immune response. You create white blood cells and that's because that's something foreign that doesn't belong in the body. Your body recognizes that and it wants to attack it. Mm -hmm. Now when you put a raw food into your body, something that has not been changed, something that has not been denatured by heating, or any kind of processing, your body immediately recognizes it. It knows all those nutrients and it absorbs them immediately. And processes them. And, and interestingly enough, you'll find that um, ionized water mimics many of the qualities of raw foods. For instance, uh, raw foods are very alkaline. Ionized wa water is also very alkaline on the body, helps alkalize the body. Mm -hmm. uh, ionized water is a very strong antioxidant. Uh, it has a negative charge, and this is one of the keys, is, is reducing the oxidation of your body. If you want to imagine it like this, I'll give you a couple examples of oxidation. There's um, slow oxidation, we call it rust. There's okay. very fast oxidation, we call fire. When you put a food that has been oxidized, like a cooked food, okay. a processed food, anything you can get out there in any of the restaurants, and in your home, in a frying pan, you're, you're taking something that's been oxidized, you're putting it into your body, and that is causing your body to oxidize from within. Now, you put a raw food in your body, it has exactly the opposite effect. It reduces the oxidation. So it has a negative charge that counteracts it.